Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can you guys see me? Can you hear me? Wonderful. Y'all, I am so excited today. So, so, so excited. Um, let's just let's just get right into it. I got my notebook here because y'all, I don't want to miss a beat. I hope everybody is doing well. If you are new here to the channel, hi, welcome. My name is Kayla. Um, I am from a sunny South Florida. That is where I reside. And um, today we're having beautiful weather. The other day I was trying to record and uh, it was like storming outside. I was like, let me hurry up and finish this video so I can turn this camera off and all these lights off, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am back today with a new video that I'm really, really excited and a little nervous to present to you guys. I've never done anything like this before here on the channel and um, we are just gonna see how it goes. Um, I took some time off. I was mentioning it in another video that I took some time off um, from YouTube just for a little while because my kids were back in school and we were just trying to get adjusted to things, our new schedules. My son just started high school, so that's a really big change from like middle school to high school. So we're going through the transition for that. And then my daughter, she's still at the same school. She's in elementary and um, her change wasn't that much, but just trying to like get everybody back in order of getting up in the morning, um, them taking up some of my morning time and me adjusting with that because y'all know for those of you that know me my morning time that's my me time and I did have to kind of adjust that too to accommodate everybody but we've just been going through an adjustment period and I think we finally kind of found our groove so I decided to go ahead and come back um before I left though I had like these two ideas that I wanted to share with you guys but I had kind of just been praying on them and just really um thinking about how I wanted to go about doing it or, or speaking about it because it's a little out of my comfort zone to a certain extent, which is weird because I feel like people who know me in real life, we talk about this all the time, but just bringing it to you guys is just a little different. So um, let me go ahead and kind of get into what it is. It's actually going to be two new series here on this channel. I'm so excited about them. Um, one's a little bit touchy though. One's gonna, you know, it's, 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 it, it may bring about some feelings in some people. It may make some people feel some kind of way and that is okay. But for those of you that are looking to evolve and grow and just, you know, just get into it, you and your grown woman error, you're going to appreciate it. Okay. So the first series I'm my channel is going to be called on the deep end you guys this is going to be a series where we talk about what I consider to be hard things um, I will be sharing with you guys some things um, that I <laughs> that I went through silently that I'm at a place that I feel like I can talk about it publicly to a certain extent with um, the privacy of others that are involved because I would never want to put anybody's information out there especially without their consent but that does not discredit me from telling my story okay so we'll do that very tastefully but basically on the deep end it's just going to be a segment where if you see me looking down it's just because I took some notes because I wanted to make sure I articulate this very specifically um but on the deep end is going to be a series where we talk about real life situations that we normally would deal with silently or the ones that I believe the enemy is trying to keep us from noticing certain habits and stuff that we have. Sometimes by sharing our own personal habits, meaning me sharing my uh, some of my personal bad habits, it'll bring about an attention in others that maybe they didn't, they weren't aware that they were doing the same thing and it was perceived or could be perceived in this way. Because a lot of times I feel like as adults, um, we see things, we notice things maybe in our families or in our in our friendships. And they may not be like the best of qualities in people, but we tend to shy away from them when we don't call people out. And I think that it's really important that we not only call others out, but we call ourselves out. Like we're going to call ourselves on our own stuff. Okay. On the deep end. That's what we're doing. Um, and just to back that up just a little bit, but um in the on the deep end not only are we tackling those topics but we're also going to be very scripture based with it um i believe that um one of the enemy's biggest tactics is trying to keep us from seeing our faults if we can continue to be blinded in the things that we have problems with or errors with or things that are problems that we're pretending are not problems then he's constantly winning and we're constantly being pulled away from what we're supposed to be doing or where we're supposed to be at in life because of these issues 
issues that are going unnoticed or unaddressed. So um, one of the things that I want you guys to understand is that one of the enemy's tactics or one of the things that the enemy uses to try to uh, keep us bound is uh, by keeping us from confessing our sins. So according to Proverbs 28, 13, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesses and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Um, basically just stating that when we uncover our faults, when we uncover our bad habits and we confess those things to God and we ask for help with it, um, at that point we are forgiven and we can start working towards progression. So just for pointers, I am in no way, shape or form uh, perfect. I still got a lot of stuff that I be confessing every single morning. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm noticing things about myself that can be much better, that can be much more improved. And even though I'm not perfect and I don't strive to be perfect, I do strive to grow. I do strive to just increase my learnings in certain areas. And just because you notice an issue within yourself or within others, give them grace and time to address it and fix it. Because if they've been a certain way for a very long time, it's going to take some time to a certain extent for them to undo or unwork those habits. And this goes for kids too. Like if you got some children, I'm, I'm, my son is in a teenage era and I see some things in him that I notice within myself and I said, okay, we both go have to work on this, you know? I was like, but just another scripture to back that up. First John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So one of the things that I wanted to point out, um, especially with my journey is that I grew up mostly in the church and I had this understanding that if I commit a sin, I'm not saved or if I commit a sin, um, God can't use me. And I just felt like, God, like I, I constantly be doing and saying the wrong things. Like, how can I stay in alignment with you? Like, I'm never going to amount with what you got going on. So I'm just going to do my own thing. Right. I was like, but that's not necessarily how the journey works. The journey is coming how you are with what you have, your baggage, your everything, and trusting in God to work through it with you. Like you can be saved and be an alcoholic. You can be saved and be, uh, you know, dealing with domestic like you know what i'm saying these not necessarily saying these are the issues that i have but i'm just saying like people look at people that are claiming to be christians and judge them because they're not perfect i was like but they're never going to be perfect they're always going to be with fault the only difference is, is are these people trying to make changes in these areas if you calling yourself a christian and you ain't willing to change or make changes now we got a problem <laughs> Okay, you ain't got to be perfect, but you need to be working towards making some changes, especially when your brothers and sisters in Christ have been pointing it out to you. Okay, so there's the there's the difference there. It's not about perfection. It's about working through our problems. Okay, again, first Kings chapter eight, uh, verse 35 says when heaven is shut up. And there is no rain because they have sinned against thee. If they pray towards this place and confess thy name and turn from their sin, when thou afflictest them, verse 36, then hear thou in heaven and forgive the sin of thy servants and thy people Israel, that thou teach them the good way wherein they should walk and give rain upon the land which thou hast given to thy people for an inheritance. My apologies if I'm not reading it in a way that, you know, it just be because I'm not perfect. However, I did look up these verses and this is what kind of solidified why I wanted to do this, this um, segment anyways. But basically on the deep end, it's just about confessing our faults, giving our faults over to God, being truthful, being honest with ourselves, being honest with others, and therefore we will be able to seek a change. Um, this particular section that... Um, that I'm bringing about on the channel, I will have to be very uh, open and honest with you guys about things. And that may or may not come with judgment, but at this point, I really don't care. I said, because I'm at that place where I just really want to grow and I want to live in my truth, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't got a lot of baggage or anything like that, but to some, it may seem like a lot. And to others, it can be like, child girl, who I've been through that, done that, we good to go. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, I feel like a lot of times we keep some stuff secret and it is good to keep some stuff to yourself. Um, I feel like, but once you've gotten to that place of growth, once you've gotten to that place of understanding, once you've gotten to that place of getting a good grip on it, you should kind of share that with others because you have no idea what people are going through. When I share my story with people and I hear them talking about the same thing, I'm just like, bro, I had no idea. Oh girl, I had no idea. And it's just crazy. So I feel like this is an opportunity to 
um, just unload a lot of stuff off my plate. For those that want to grow with me and hear it, cool. For those that don't, chop, can sign out. It's quite okay. But this will not be no tea. I ain't spilling no tea. The only tea I'm gonna spill is tea that's already been spilled, and that's in the Bible. There's a whole lot of tea up in here, okay? I don't want to ever hear nobody talk about no virgin Christian ears. If you have read the Old Testament, ain't nothing virgin about it, okay? <laughs> I said, so there's that. Um, and just to give you guys a sneak peek as to what's to come on on the deep end i already have our first episode kind of already ready to go on the first topic that we're going to be talking about i'm going to really quick flip over to my notes on it but the first topic for on the deep end if you guys are interested is going to be um about dealing with resentment grudges and bitterness okay so this is something you're experiencing right now or if this is something that's being projected on you from someone else like you feel like somebody else is being bitter towards you or holding a grudge or has resentment this will be a really good opportunity for you to kind of understand the thoughts that are going through that person's mind or the things that they're dealing with or if you're the person <laughs> that got some resentment some grudges and some bitterness this for you too okay um but yeah so that's going to be the first topic that we go into on on the deep end and then oh my gosh we had 11 minutes y'all bear with me okay i heard y'all ain't got a good uh attention span like people saw my old videos being 30 minutes along is too long say what i be watching videos that's two three four hours long let me tell you something pop them videos in while you working hopefully it'll be something positive and motivational and you will get through your work day without having to sin for the most part <laughs> You won't be doing no gossiping. You won't be talking about nothing. You ain't gonna be hearing nobody's business that you shouldn't be hearing because you is minding your own. Okay, put them headphones in and listen for a good two hours to a good positive podcast and see if it make a difference in your day. But anywho, I digress. The second segment that's going to be on this this channel or the second show that I would like to bring, I don't even know what you want to call these things, child. I don't know. I ain't never done nothing like this before. But it's gonna be called My Daddy Said. Now the the thought process behind this to me was funny because i remember and i'm just gonna be real open i don't i don't know how many people know this story per se i'm gonna give a very small version of this but um my husband and i we got together uh while i was in high school for the most part like i was like towards my senior year um and we i moved out like straight out of high school i moved out of my mama's house and moved in with my fiance who's not my husband but we were boyfriend girlfriend at the time. I was 19 years old. And I kid you not, one of the things he could not stand is anytime we have a conflict or anytime we have a conversation, I'd be like, well, my mama said, my mama said, my mama said, my mama said, child, ain't got no mind of my own. My mama said this and my daddy said that and da, 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 da. Like I never had my own voice about things. I really just leaned on the instructions that my parents gave. But mind you, I was 19. Honestly, I was not mature enough to be out in the world like that, but it is what it is. And thankfully, God shed his grace on me because I am where I am today. Thank the Lord. Um, but yeah, so this segment of My Daddy Said is kind of going to be a little bit of a twist on that. Um, because we are going to be talking about, uh, it's going to be a motivational segment, um, inspiring and an uplifting segment on my channel where I'm just going to be bringing you some positive motivational material, just something to lift your spirits up. And it's called My Daddy Said because it's it's mainly um, spiritual based out of the Bible and all the words that were written on the Bible, that were written in the Bible by the prophets, by the apostles. Um, there's countless numerous of passages that tell you that these words that were written were not written by men, but were written by people who were filled with the Holy Ghost. And this is what God told them to say. So in my opinion, all the words that are written in that Bible are my daddy said. Okay. So I was like, I really like that. And I wanted to put that on here. Um, but that's basically what it is. It's a series on encouraging and um, providing encouragement that God gives us in the Bible. It's going to be motivational, inspiring, uplifting. And it's a spin on the whole, my mama said, my daddy said, because in real life and um, even my pastor, for example, he'll tell you, if you hear people saying, my mama said, my daddy said very early on in a relationship, um, you might want to separate yourself from them because they still have a very strong attachment with their parents. And there's nothing wrong with that, but they need to be able to take the pieces of what they're mama said and their daddy said configure it in their mind and create their own understanding of what that is or find a way to um 
maybe translate that into okay this is what my mom said this is what my dad said you know what do i say do i agree with this piece do i agree with that piece and kind of formulate their own thoughts because honestly when you hear people say my mama said my daddy said it just means that they're not thinking on their own like they're not an independent thinker and i'm gonna be honest that was me for a very long period of time okay i was like but when it comes to the bible i kind of feel a little differently towards that um, in regards to what it says, I do think you should take in what the word of God says and get an interpretation with the, with the help of the Holy Spirit for yourself and not so much as go off of what your pastor said, your pastor said, but what did God say? What did God say? You know what I'm saying? Kind of regulated in that way. Um, but I did put like a quick note on here, um, about that, um, just for reference in Isaiah 55, eight, it says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. In verse nine, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Matthew 10, 19 says, but when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak. Verse 20. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father, which speaketh in you. So these are the scriptures that I'm standing on. Um, the first episode for my daddy said, just to give you guys an idea, because I already have that one ready to, is going to be based on Ephesians chapter four. And it's basically about how to be a good servant of God. But more importantly, it talks about a lot of characteristics in which we should have as people if we want to become uh, better and just, you know, and by better, I don't mean perfect. I mean better as in, let's just say you're somebody who's disorganized and you really want to become more organized. I was like, sometimes it's a, it's a thought, it's a pattern, it's a characteristic inside of us that's lacking, that's allowing this disorganization in our life because there's a disorganization within us on the inside. And I learned a lot about fixing the inside parts first, and then I can um, actually facilitate it on the outside. Like once I started working on my inner self, was I able to accomplish these outer things? And I, and, and it's so funny sometimes cause I think back and I'm like, wow, you know, like I feel like I really did accomplish a lot in life, but that was just because the certain things that I was able to accomplish was because of the thought patterns that I already had like ingrained in me. But there were several other things that I think I was just lacking because I, I just, I just didn't think in that way. Like, you know, like having very strong foundations in certain areas of my life I truly lack those things I was like but that's because I personally lack foundation in those areas but we'll pretty much go into all of that uh really soon I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and if you still made it to this part of the video go ahead and throw your girl a heart in the comment section I greatly appreciate it and yeah I I, I cannot wait to start uh, with these two new series and, and get these episodes out for you guys. I really, really think they're going to be beneficial and helpful for those that, that need them or want to hear them. Um, I definitely think it's going to be very beneficial for me because I have found YouTube to be an outlet for me now. Um, I do talk amongst my, my peers and my friends, but I feel like that time is very limited to a certain extent. Um, because we all live such busy lives. So I've carved out some time in my day to make these types of videos for you guys so that we can converse. Um, I would love to uh, communicate with you guys through the comment section. So please be sure to leave your feedback in the comment section. Um, or if you would like to write me privately, you can uh, via email. I think it's listed below. If the email is not listed there, um, most likely just reach out to me through Instagram. Ain't gonna lie, my Instagram is private because I got boundaries and I like to protect them. <laughs> I said, but if you write me uh, via Instagram, um, I think you can still message me if it's if it's private. I think you can message me and I can like decide if I want to read it or not. But if you do request me on Instagram, just give me a couple of days. I just want to verify that you're an actual person because I got a lot of bots out there like trying to request me and I don't got time for that. I was like, so I made my page private so that these bots don't be in my comment section. They don't be DMing me with no foolishness. Like just keep your... Keep your space, okay? It ain't gotta be public. You can let in who you wanna let in and, and, and kick out who you wanna kick out, okay? It is what it is. I was like, but thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.